Hello, this is the other guy. Welcome back to seven days. Now, uh, last time the bar is coming along pretty well. Um, we are still low on food and partially starving, but it's otherwise other than, other than the starving, it's going great. Um, now I was actually thinking pillars. Pillar. Okay. Yeah, we could make some pillars actually. Um, I don't know. Maybe make some pillars up this way to actually act as some supports. I think that would work well. Be something I won't have to fully repair each time. Um, or not have to repair, but like, I don't know how I'd phrase it. Frames. Let's make some more frames, I think. 16 should be enough for now. Uno, dos, tres, go. Uh, let's put a normal frame right here. And then one right there. Alright, I think that'll be pretty good in terms of setting up a spot I can walk around. Um, I mean, that did kind of mess up my actual ramp here, but it also prevents the zombies from using it as a ramp, so I mean, you know, you win lo you win some, you lose some, you know? Um, and let's make some more plates while we're at it. Plate. And then go ahead and set up some... How many would we need? Let's make 12 for now. I don't know if that's how many we need exactly, but it's kind of how much I want to go with. Um, I don't know. Let's change that to a depth. Oh. We really did not need that many, actually. Uh, there we go. I think this would be good. Um... You probably shouldn't put one right there, just because... You know what? We can go ahead and get rid of this door as well. Since we have that set up like that now. Alright. Um, so this little gap right here. We'll work on that. We'll, we'll work on most of it. I guess we could technically... Uh, I hate to. I really hope this doesn't mess up the actual bridge itself. We should be able to replace this and then just upgrade it back to the current... Uh, not quite the current tier... But back to, like, the heavy iron tier. That way we're kind of, you know, still at the same point. Um, I don't know. Mm, here we go. Oh, come on. Alright. Let's just put down a normal frame. Is that an airplane? I think that is. Alright. Alright, and then... Alright, we really can't upgrade it any more than that. Let's go drop off some stuff, and then we'll go out to check out where that airplane landed. Um, we really need more storage space. We're kind of low on it. Um, we'll work on that next time, though. God, that's a distance, isn't it? Oh, for fuck's sake, it's across the freaking river. Jesus... It always does that, too. It's always like, hey, where do you want your care package? You know, four miles away? Um, I guess that's not four miles, but it's like you know, almost a thousand meters at that point. Because, I mean, the rally point's right there. and That's twice the freaking distance. Um, I'd love to have bicycles at this point, but... Let's make a chest. Chest. Let's craft quickly. Put that down. Um, we'll just put it over here by this thing. And then put up anything extra we're not using. Shotgun we can go ahead and put up as well. Beer. Uh, the fail, because we just don't have any ammo for it. 10 mil and the 9 mil. Axe we probably don't need. And pistol we'll go ahead and put up as well. Uh, not a great amount of supplies, but... Which do we have left? We have 7 shots for this. Let's make them count, I guess. Um, do hear a zombie nearby. I think they see me. 
Yeah, they do. They'll scatter, though. So, I mean, we can kind of keep running and we should be fine. The slower one should get left behind. And if we really need to, we can turn around and use our last seven bullets. That is a bear. Oh, that was a bear. Okay. Um, he didn't mind us, so we're just going to politely leave. Because that is his portion of the woods, and he can do whatever he wants there. So, you know. I'm not going to try to, you know, sit and trash talk the bear. I mean, I kind of want to, because I like trash talking it. Or trash talking things, but, you know. I like to trash talk in general. Not in any serious sense or any rude sense, just kind of to be funny. I don't know. Uh, not very good at it, though. Can you just teleport? Right. Can we get any of these arrows back? No, we can't. Well, shit. I'm down to 13 arrows. Um, there's another nest right there. We'll make a few makeshift arrows, but, I mean, they're not great. Uh, nothing in there, either. Crap. Hmm. It's another random crate in the road. See what's in it? Nothing. Okay. I think what the issue there is, is it's supposed to be spawning a vehicle, and the game doesn't know what vehicle to spawn, so it just spawns a crate. Um, the reason I say that is because I've had one of the vehicle types, uh, whenever I tried to disassemble it, it's turned to a crate randomly, and I got stuck in it, and I had to no clip out of it. Um, so I think it's doing something similar there. Again, I might be wrong, so, I mean, you know, let me know in the comments if I am. Uh... What does that say? Poles Marina? Huh. It's a bait shop. Oh. This is actually... I didn't realize this was a proper vehicle. That's some ammo. That's some series ammo. Alright. Um... And a working workbench, actually. Quiet, close that and leave. Um, and that's a zombie immediately. Yep. It's a zombie and a wolf. Did they both see me or just one? That's uh, both. Okay. Get out of here. Come on. Okay. We can deal with the. This dude, just arrows. I just do not want to deal with the dogs. Dogs have an unbelievably high bleed rate. They continuously strike for bleed. Um, like if this was an RPG, that would be their main status effect. I mean, I guess this kind of is. But you know what I mean. Like, it can be a mess when you have the moment of just continuously getting hit by bleed damage. Um, I know on PS4... I don't know if they ever actually fixed this on PS4. Because PS4, you know telltale went under and the port has kind of been left you know to rot hasn't received any updates um bleed damage used to be absurdly common i haven't played it in forever so i don't know if it still like i don't know if the last update actually properly fixed it i can't remember um but yeah it used to be the moment where you could be hit by bleed damage from a dog be bandaged and immediately get hit by bleed damage and the thing is not like once, not like twice, not like three times, like a hundred times. Kind of, I, and I was exaggerating a little bit with a hundred, but I'm almost not, you know? Um, cannot tell you the number of times I'd be sitting there, just suddenly get hit with bleed damage, and then hit with bleed damage three or four more times. Are we hidden? I don't hear them. I also don't see where this freaking ammo thing is. Uh, oh, it's right here, isn't it? Yes, it is. Awesome. Not as awesome. Um, but... Oh, it's chicken soup! Okay, so this, uh, vegetarian challenge was a bad idea. I'll say that, especially when the logic is I'm building a bar. But, uh, yeah, I know I'm hungry. Thank you. Way to rub it in, game. Um, 
Yeah, I was I was not prepared for. Uh, I was like, yeah, I remember doing that on uh this four the vegetarian challenge. Uh, I think at that one I had done like full on just avoid everything else. But on PS4 it was also really easy to get a hold of stuff like any amount of tools and any amount of weapons and any amount of armor. Um, you know, I was just sitting and thinking. The way I've set this up is bridge percent, so I can only have bridge. But can I have more than one bridge? I didn't specify. Hmm. This could be my home away from home. Little side bridge. Uh, how far away is this? That's a distance. Hmm. We'll mark it on the map, though. Um, save waypoint. I don't know what I want to put. Uh, second bridge. Okay. That's a decent enough name for it for now. Um, I'm really trying to decide what I want to do. If I want to head back to base, if I want to go out looting. I really don't have the food or supplies to do it, but at the same time, I also don't have the food or supplies not to. Um, although nightfall's gonna hit, it's gonna be just absolutely fucking dark. Um, oh, as a random note, I, ha I don't have this update, I should say, before I say this. Um, apparently, the latest update actually fixed night vision goggles so that they aren't just blue. Like, they are still very blue, but you can actually, you know, see out of them. So, oh, it's this location. Hmm. I really don't have the ammo for this. Like, at all. Um. Technicality. I could technically do. No, I have frames on me. I'm sitting and thinking. If I go ahead and stack up frames, or if I basically frame up to a location. And then, you know, I have the moment where it's like Molotov, the bottom, where the zombies are going to be. I wonder if that would help clear out all the zombies really quickly. Then again, it also might just fill the air with fire, area with fire, and get me killed. So, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I'm, trying to, I'm sitting and contemplating, honestly, because I'm like, Molotovs would be pretty, you know, decent, but at the same time... They're really dangerous and get me killed very quickly because I'm not very good with them. I don't know. I mean, you know what? I'm sitting and thinking because we have light right now. Um, I don't know. I think I think we'll go ahead and I think we'll go ahead and do it. Okay. Yeah, I know. I'm hungry. Thank you, game. It's like you're hungry. Did you know that? Yeah. Yeah, game. I did notice that. Thanks. Mm -hmm. You know, I was sitting there thinking, yeah, I have enough light now. I'm sitting and looking at it, and I'm like... Wasn't there... A basement here? Am I... Crazy? Zombies are immediately bashing through stuff. They heard me outside and they were like, hey, this is a time to freak out. Um, I guess that's zombies in general. Oh, it's right here. Is that where it was last time? I don't know. I would prefer knights in this game to be like this, kind of, where it's like. You can actually kind of see what's going on. Rather than what it currently is, where it's like just everything is dark all the time. Have fun with that. Hmm. I was also sitting and thinking we might be able to just jump up this. Throw Molotovs down. Oh. Do I have any water on me? God, I'm just out of everything. 
And I'm about to deal with actual zombies. Well, that's one problem solved. Um, so I need to keep an eye out for any nearby zombies. I didn't kill them. Okay. Wait, it did, kinda? I mean, Molotov spam does seem to be working a little bit. Molotovs don't seem to do tons of damage, but they do seem to do enough damage. Then again, they damage blocks. That's the big thing about them. Oh no. Let's keep hopping. Hmm. It's kind of expecting them to. Come on. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. That kind of worked. Well, this is a bit bizarre of an idea, but hey, if it works, it works, right? Um, only thing I'm inconvenienced by is the fact that none of the... Ow. Freaking birds every time. I'm like, hey, what do we want? You know, something reasonable? It's like, birds? Nah. Guess what you get? You get birds. Keep shooting with arrows. Oh, come on. The second I go to shoot. Alright, well, we got one arrow back. We're lucky we might be able to find out where the other one went. I doubt it, though. Come on, quickly. Oh, you're up there. Oh. Jesus Christ. Alright, we're on fire. Into the river. Come on. Please run. You're out of stamina. Clearly, when you're on fire, you need to worry about stamina. That's how fire works. Really? Are you fucking kidding me with that? We failed the mission. We failed the mission. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay. Oh, for fuck's sake. I am very pissed. I am beyond pissed. Yeah, you accidentally lit yourself on fire with a Molotov and had to run to water? Well, guess what? Fuck you and that stupid mission you weren't able to complete. I'm like... Oh my fucking god. And like, if it was, you know, something interesting and not just... Wipe out the zombies from this random piece of shit cabin. I would have been like, okay. You know, this is a time sensitive matter. Or I would have to stay in the confines of it. But it's not. It's just a shit cabin out in the middle of fucking nowhere. Why the fuck are they sending me to do this anyway? God, that pisses me off. Just entirely. I don't know. I would say that would probably be free of zombies, but no area is free of zombies. I think I already mentioned this. Uh, whereas in the old updates, like, zombies would be scattered about and houses would be... Oh, come on. You cannot take a single hit of damage. Um, oh, thank you, game. I'm freezing now. Remember whenever I was caught on fire and it was like, hey, you're burning. Watch out for that. I'm like, no shit, Sherlock. Uh, older updates, which I mean, I, like, I've been through a few of them already. So, I mean, I don't know why I'm explaining this. There's a point. I will just, again, for clarity's sake. The old updates, zombies were, like, really common everywhere. So, it's like, you know, they're out and about. But whenever you got indoors, you know, the areas were abandoned and you'd find dead bodies. And, like, if an area is boarded up, it would generally have better loot. And, you'd, you know, you'd find the bodies and all that kind of stuff. And they'd have good loot on them and stuff like that. 
Whereas, like, this, every single house is apparently packed to the brim. Um, this, is, this is set in America. I'm going to go ahead and let you it, or let y'all in on a little secret in case you don't live in America. Um, we don't live 74 to a house. Yeah. Um, four bedroom, uh, two bath. Yeah, doesn't actually hold uh, 32 people. We don't regularly invite 32 people over either. You know, in movies, whenever it's like, you know, someone decides to throw a, a raging party and it's like they're going to get destroyed and the entire house is full of people. That. That maybe happens, like, to very few people in very specific houses, in v very specific areas. Like, in cer certain areas, that's just really uncommon. Again, I'm not going to say where I'm from, but, you know, like, I don't know. It, it's just the thing of, I, I am from America, but I'm not going to say where in America I'm from. Um, feel free to guess in the comments. I won't respond. But, you know, uh, the, the point, it's like, uh, this update, you know, they decided to add sleepers, and it's like, we have sleepers everywhere. It's like, okay, what do the sleepers do? They just fucking pack the house with zombies. 57 zombies to a house? Completely reasonable. And I mean, some of them aren't as bad. Some of them are like, you know, it's like, okay, how many sleepers are in this? Three. And it's like, alright, that works. That makes sense. You know. That's fine. It's whatever. But then, you know, I can even accept, you know, 10 to 12. It's like, you have a small house and it's got 50 fucking zombies in it. You're just like, really? Just, seriously? And I'm exaggerating with 50. It's more like 30, but I don't know. Which, I mean, I guess not every single point of interest has 30. And I do, like, the dungeons logistically make sense to have 30. But there's never an empty house anymore. There's never just a house that's, like, basically empty. Um, of course, we can't eat any of this because I went with this stupid fucking challenge. Um, we have some salmon, actually. We could sell this extra food now that I'm thinking about it. I also like how candy tins are a thing, but they're not an actual, like, food or anything. Uh, miso. We can eat miso. Uh, eat miso. Eat me some... I was gonna eat... Say, eat me some soup, but try to be clever about it, but I failed. Um, you know what? Let's take the extra food we're not able to eat. And run it over to the shop, because we have some other stuff to sell with the explosives and stuff. Um... Yeah, let's do that. That'd be a good idea. Could also see if these shops have updated their stuff and if we can get any actual other decent stuff. We're down to two bullets for the rifle, which is not good uh, because we're very low on supplies. Um, we really need the forge and we really need... God, we need a lot of stuff. We need a mine. We need actual... like We need ammo production. We need proper weapons, we need defenses, um, we need a supply of concrete, that's going to be a fun one. Um, we need a lot of stuff, actually. Let's see if we can take this guy out with arrows before we shoot at him. Alright. Well, we got him with arrows, at least. Um... Got an arrow back as well, which is good. Uh, you know, I will say I have mixed feel. Uh, I've said this. I think I said this in this exact same episode in this exact same video. But like, I have mixed feelings about the lighting updates, where it's like, let's add more lights. Oh come on! Are you fucking kidding me with this shit? And of course, I get hit with that stupid "you feel something coming on" shit. Oh my god, really? Are you fucking kidding? You dumb cunts. Oh my god. That pisses me off more than anything. I don't know if this is just like... Because I kind of have a problem with my mouse sometimes. I don't know if this is just me or maybe this is the game. Like, I'm just kind of iffy. Let me know what you think in the comments. Take some guesses. Am I just bad at shooting or does it seem like everything's kind of... I don't know, like... A little bit delayed whenever I go to shoot. Because, like, the same with the arrows, where it just, like, suddenly, randomly quits firing and shit like that. I, my god, I completely forgot about this stupid death 
penalty thing. God, that's dumb. That's such a bad way to balance it. Anyway, um, and I mean, you know, you do need some balance, but again, they really just need to fucking go back to the drawing board with that. God, that pisses me off. It's like, you've designed your mechanics around this stat system, and now your penalty is in the stat system. It's like, just no. Fucking put some thought and effort into it. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, I have to line up my shots really, I don't know, oddly sometimes. Then again, other times I have it work just fine. I don't know. This game's weird sometimes, and it's kind of indescribably, indescribably weird. It's kind of got the problem that, uh, like, old platformer games have, where it's like, the controls are weird, but you can't quite describe them. Uh, you literally have to just feel how they're set up. To understand what's wrong. It's that kind of thing. Then again, I think it's just like little bi bits of micro lag and just frame drops that make it where it's, you know, you go to shoot and you have like headshot lined up and the enemy lags into a different spot or jumps to a different we pose. And... Great prizes. Shut up. Uh, sell these. Sell this. Okay. Do we have any extra food? Do you have any food? You have no food. Okay. Um, doing business with you. Come back you didn't tell your get anything better, did you? You restock on day... Th Wait, no, you have different stuff. Okay, you do. Oh, you have a sink. I want a sink, actually. Um, oh, God, a cash register. Jesus, these are expensive. It'll take a water cooler, though. I will say that. I was like, a cash register would be perfect for a bar. It's so fucking expensive, though. Well, wait. Well, wait. That's really expensive. Wait, did you have bar stools? I don't know if you have bar stools. No, you don't. Oh, this freaking thing's gonna shut down soon. And there's a wolf outside. Um, potatoes. Buy all these. Do we have any water here? Pasta. Stock. Buy. Sham chowder. I thought that was clam chowder. I was like, oh, clams. We can eat clams. But no. Alright. Um, let's go ahead and flee quietly. Oh, there's a bag here. That I've not searched. It just had jars in it. Alright, I'm annoyed. Um, yeah, unfortunately, a lot of this game is kind of RNG dependent. When it comes to stuff like, you know, pots and grills and stuff like that. That's something they really haven't, I guess, worked out 100%. And the thing is, I kind of question why. Like, and I don't mean this in any kind of sass sense. But, like, you know, uh, one of the things I want to set up is just, like, some more... Is some, like, quality of life mods. It's, like, a makeshift, you know, water system. Or, not water system, but, like, early game, it's, like, water purification. Uh, water purification tablets or something like that would be reasonable. And I do know those mods exist, or at least existed in earlier updates. Being able to just batch, batch purify a large portion of water, you know, that was very reasonable and made a lot of sense. Um, but you'd actually need the tablets to do it. But if you had a pot and you actually had the stuff, you could do it that way and you could, you know, not have to worry about tablets. That was all a really cool and good system. But, like... I don't know, just the way it's set up right now, I'm just like, oh my god. You randomly have to stumble across a pot, or either make one using a forge. And I know there's people who, you know, can, like, the first week have everything unlocked, but I'm like... I have to fucking min-max all this shit, you know? Uh... I just realized I shouldn't have put down all those counters. I should have left a space, because... A sink logistically makes sense in a bar. I guess we can put it on the end. Um, and then a water cooler. Where would we put a water cooler? I don't know. But we don't actually have the faucet. Which is why we ended up buying the faucet. So, I mean, that's a win. Uh, 
don't have to pay for that again. I'm kind of annoyed that it didn't come with one, but hey. That's fine. We're already prepared for that scenario. Um, and then a water cooler. I think right here would be a good place for a water cooler. I did not put those windows there either. I think I have some windows extra before we do any of that. I was trying to sit and think of some other penalties they could do for in-game death. And my thoughts are like, you know, money penalty, experience penalty. Experience penalty would actually be great. You know, logic, you lose whatever XP you've had for that current level. Early levels, it'd be, you know, not as punishing. Later levels would be rather punishing. You know, kind of keep the balance. Um, but then again, I don't know. Maybe that would cause more problems somehow. I don't know. I think it would work fine, but... I don't know. I just... You, you design the entire system around the new skills, and it's like, okay, that's great. But then, you know, set up a penalty system around the skills where you lose access to the skills, and it's like... Not as great. Um... I sit and think of way to do lighting in this. Very ominous, I'll say that. Put up some more torches. There we go. My bar is well lit. Um, so did not repair this frame, actually. Okay. Uh, thinking, do we want a wall here? I mean, obviously, yes, but... Plate. Plates. You know what? How many plates do we have in storage, actually, now that I'm thinking about it? I don't know. Do we have it organized? Okay, yeah, we do have... Well, we have a few plates. I forgot to sell the ammo. I'm an idiot. I sold all the food, and I was like, all right, we made tons of honey. I can't tell if I heard a zombie or not. I think I did, but I might not have. Hmm. Let's go ahead and put this one right. There we go. That's the main thing we needed. Alright, and then... Actually, are there any flat windows? No, I don't know. We can put some plates. Or we can just put plates for now. Um, let's get 24. Because we are going to need some extras anyway. Um, I do need to cut down some trees. I might do that on my own time. Just because that would be kind of slow. But, I don't know. Um figure it out then. I'm also going ahead and connecting these right there. That way they have a better strut or like an actual support. They're connected better, you know. Um, do we really need this third layer? I mean, as a technicality, we do not at all just because of the way it's set up. But on the other hand, I'm like, I don't know. Could be a good idea. Alright. Well, we can have a bar set up. Um, can I actually use... Put us some stairs. I think it... Ah, oh, come on. Oh my god, really? Alright, wood stairs. Craft a single wooden stair. Right there. I'm not freezing just yet. Yeah, leave me alone, game. You know, pick up this one. And then... Put this one right here. Come on. Come on, Jesus. There we go. I'm 
armor. There it is. Okay, yeah. No, this should be good. And then... Okay. There we go. We got a nice little indoors area. Um, we're also completely out of bullets for the rifle. Unfortunately, but... Hey. We did get the bar built. So, that's something. Or, I should say, like, 5% of the bar built. Um, this really could use some work. Like, the fact there's massive wall... Or, holes and everything. and All that stuff. Um, I need a game plan. But that'll have to wait for next time. So, until next time, this has been the other guy. Subscribe if you want to. If not, bye.